Hello everyone. In this series, we are covering the most commonly asked Java technical interview questions. And the topic we are covering today is the string reverse. Here is the requirement of the string reverse task. You are required to write the program that can reverse a given string. And the solution should accurately preserve the character orders, including the white space special characters while maintaining the case sensitivity. Okay. And in addition, this, uh, the solution you, that you provide should handle the strings of different lengths. Which means, regardless of how many characters that the string has, the program that you wrote, it must be capable, in, well, capable enough to reverse that string and give you the reverse result at the end. So the main goal of the interviewer here is to, to see your problem solving skills, to see what, uh, what's the logic that you are applying here, okay? So, suppose that this is the string that is given to us right now. And we need to re reverse this given string. Okay, this string, it, it could have 10 characters. Uh, it, it could have 10 characters or 20 characters in it. But at the end, you should provide the reverse result. Okay, so first thing that I'm going to do here is, first I will declare another variable called reverse SDR. The main goal is, the main purpose of declaring this variable is to store the, the reverse version of this original string. Okay. And next step, I am going to get each characters of this string one by one and concate it to this new string that we have. There is a reason that we initialize this empty string here. Okay. Because at the beginning, this string does, should not contain any characters. It should only contain the characters of the original string, starting from last to the first. So in order to get the characters of this string starting from last to the first, I can apply the for loop. And when I declare my for loop, the initialization, it can be set to the last index number, okay? So if this is the string that I have right now, which contains 12 characters, that means the last index number is 11, because index number always starts from 0. So 12's character will have the index number of 11. And if this string had hundreds, uh, 100 characters, then the last index would be 99. Okay. So the formula to calculate the last index would be total number of the characters of the string minus 1. And to get the total number of the characters of a string, I can call this, I can call this length function which gives me the total number of the characters. And if I subtract one, that will give me the last index number. So now i is set to the last index number of this original string. And then next I need to specify the conditions. So the minimum index number in the string is zero. As long as i is, uh, i is greater or equal to zero, I can let this loop to continue to iterate the characters of this string, str. So therefore, my condition is going to be i, while i is greater or equal to 0, then the loop should be repeated. Condition is basically the ending point of the loop, while this initialization is the starting point. And in order to reach this ending point of the loop, this initialization's value needs to be decreased by 1 during each iteration. So loop first starts from here, and then next iteration will be second last character, and the last iteration it should be the character at index 0. So in order to in order to reach the last in, uh, in order to reach the first index number starting from last to the first we have to make sure that the index number is decreasing by 1 during each iteration of this loop. Now you have this i which is representing the index numbers of this string str starting from last to the first. Which means you can use this i as the index number to get each characters of this string from last to the first. Okay, and after we get uh, each characters of the string starting from last to the first, then each character can be concated to the new string reverse str. So reverse str now, it is going to be concated by the character, each characters of the string. Each character we can get it by using the charat method. And when you use the charat method, you need to provide the index number as the argument. Here our index number is i. After this loop, 
we will have the reverse version of the string. Because this loop, what, what this loop is doing right here is, it is getting each character of this original string starting from last to the first, and it is adding it to this new string. So at the end, if uh, after the after the loop is terminated, if you print this string reverse str, it will give you the reverse version of sideio school. Okay. So uh, make sure that you are giving the right conditions in the in your for loop. Otherwise, otherwise you may end up getting an infinite loop. The loop has to be terminated before we uh, by the time that we print the reversed str. So the loop, it started from the last index number and it ended when it reached the index zero. During each iteration, the index number is decreased by one. And then the, the, the only statement that this loop is repeating is this one right here. It gets each character of the string starting from last to the first, and then it will concate it to the reverse str. So here is our solution to the, to the string reverse task. And let me know in the comment section if you have any questions related to the solution uh, or if, if there is anything that you would like to ask or say. I, will, uh, I do check the comment section da daily and then I will, I will also reply to your comment. And there are also other solutions that are available. There are also other uh, building methods in Java which can help us to reverse the string. String Builder and String Buffer, those classes, they do have the reverse method. Okay, which allows you to reverse a string. But usually in the interviews, those methods, those built-in methods are not allowed to, to be used. Please hit the like button if you found this video helpful and consider to subscribe to our channel if you would like to stay connected. Also, let me know in the comment section on which Java technical interview question you want me to cover next. Thank you so much. See you all in the next video.